Why did Katherine Schwarzenegger and her movie star husband Chris Pratt attend counseling before they got married? And how does the author feel about Arnold Schwarzenegger's once secret son? Keep watching for the details. Despite being born in the spotlight, Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt's parents, Maria Shriver and Arnold Schwarzenegger, worked hard to give her and her siblings a normal upbringing. Schwarzenegger Pratt told the Today Show, We had a really normal and magical childhood, and we were allowed to kind of be our own people. To make sure she kept a low profile while growing up, Schwarzenegger Pratt went by the name Katherine S. until she was in college. This kind of privacy inspired the way she and her husband, Chris Pratt, intend to raise their children, which includes hiding their faces on social media. Before Katherine Schwarzenegger and Chris Pratt walked down the aisle in a Catholic church, they were required to attend couples counseling. During an appearance on the Meaning Full Living podcast, Schwarzenegger Pratt explained, It was such an amazing gift in our relationship. It has been such a helpful thing to be able to have in our relationship of having that guidance, talking about things that maybe we wouldn't necessarily have talked about before getting married. Another bonus of the couple's premarital counseling was improved communication. As she told the podcast, Communication's a really big part of our relationship that is super important with everything, and especially with parenthood. It has been important, of course, in these times of COVID because my husband travels for certain parts of his job. Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt is no stranger to the publishing world, and she already has four books under her belt. One of her most special publications to date is Maverick and Me, a picture book about the power of fostering and rescuing pets based on her own dog adoption experience. Maverick was one of seven puppies that Schwarzenegger Pratt had fostered, but when it came time to find his forever home, she decided to formally adopt him. Schwarzenegger Pratt shared with E! News, He's made such a huge difference in my life. He's taught me so much about unconditional love and patience and, of course, the importance of animal rescue. At this point, Maverick is such an important part of the family that he apparently likes to wear matching pajamas with his mom. Being a child of divorce is fairly common these days. However, the family drama that precipitated the divorce of Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt's parents has a particular celebrity sheen to it. Born and raised in Los Angeles, Schwarzenegger Pratt is the oldest of four. But in addition to siblings Patrick, Christopher, and Christina, she also has a half-brother, Joseph Baina. Joseph is the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the family's former housekeeper, Mildred Baina. The Terminator star reportedly kept Joseph's paternity a secret from his wife and kids for 15 years before the truth finally came to light. Since her parents divorced in 2011, Schwarzenegger Pratt has reportedly had an unusual relationship with her half-brother Joseph. He was not in attendance at her wedding, although he did share warm wishes for the newlyweds on Instagram. Despite the critics, Schwarzenegger Pratt is careful to make few public comments about her half-brother, though his absence at family gatherings has certainly been noticed by the media and fans alike. Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt swears by her morning routine, which includes daily exercise, coffee, and snuggles with her daughter Lila. In a 2020 interview with Women's Health, she praised her parents, saying, I grew up with both of my parents being really great examples of healthy eating. I grew up in the world of health and fitness, but it was also about being able to enjoy food and to be active. I tried to be somebody who works out and is able to have fun with food. Schwarzenegger Pratt is a big fan of hiking and tennis, but when she can't get outside, she will often do Pilates or an Obey online class. Discussing the importance of her routine during the pandemic, she wrote on Instagram, I love having a morning routine, especially lately when days seem to blend into each other. Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt is a longtime baker and a confident one at that. Some of her favorite treats apparently include Sweet Laurel Bakery's banana bread and her own family recipe for granola. But during the pandemic, she started dabbling a bit more in the kitchen. During an Instagram Live in July 2020, Schwarzenegger Pratt remarked, I've been super eager to get more experience in the kitchen since being in quarantine. Throughout 2020, Schwarzenegger Pratt was candid about her goal to start cooking more. In fact, she revealed to ET, I've always loved baking, but I definitely wanted to learn more in the cooking department and to learn non-intimidating and simple recipes. Getting organized really helps Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt to relax. She told ET in July 2020, I like everything to look really clean and neat. Learning how to organize your own refrigerator and pantry, those are all things that definitely keep me calm in this crazy time. This crazy, unpredictable time. Despite having a flair for the neat and tidy, Schwarzenegger Pratt is featured in season two of Netflix's Get Organized with the Home Edit. On the show, Schwarzenegger Pratt and husband Chris Pratt recruited the show's hosts to redo their garage, hopeful to find designated spots for odd items like bows and baseball bats. 
Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt was still a college student studying communications when her first book was published in 2010. Her drive for writing her first book, Rock What You've Got, Secrets to Loving Your Inner and Outer Beauty, actually came from the research she did about societal pressures around women and thinness. In an interview with CNN, she explained, I think there's a huge amount of pressure on young women in general today in America to be really thin and to be beautiful and look like you just walked off a runway every single day of your life. Today, the body positivity advocate remains committed to educating others about the destructive reality of beauty standards and diet culture. If you are struggling with an eating disorder or know someone who is, help is available. Visit the National Eating Disorders Association website or contact Nita's Life Helpline at 1-800-931-2237. You can also receive 24-7 crisis support via text. Send NIDA to 741-741.